getting started with WebGL. WebGL enables web content to use an API based on OpenGL ES 2.0 to perform 2D and 3D rendering in an HTML canvas and browsers that support it without the use of plugins and you can check out this link. WebGL programs consist of control code written in JavaScript and shader code GLS cell that is executed on a computer's graphic processing unit, the GPU. WebGL elements can be mixed with other HTML elements and uh, composite with other parts of the page or the page background. This article will introduce you to the basics of using WebGL. It's assumed that you already have an understanding of the mathematics involved in 3D graphics and this article doesn't pretend to try to teach you 3D graphics concept itself. The code examples in this tutorial can also be found in the WebGL example folder in GitHub. It's worth noting here that the series of articles introduces WebGL, however, there are a number of frameworks available that encapsulate WebGL's capability, making it easier to build 3D applications and games such as 3.js and Babylon.js. And you can check out these links. So preparing to render to render in 3D. First, create two files. So we're gonna name it index.html and the webgl hyphen demo.js. So I'm gonna go into my folder here and I'm just gonna my folder programming js and i'm gonna create a new folder i'm just gonna game i'm just gonna name it games and i'm just gonna right click and i'm gonna open it in terminal and i'm just gonna press in code space that like that so i can open it in visual studio code and from here we're gonna click this and we're gonna create a, a new file and the file name is gonna be uh, index.html okay so it's gonna be index.html it's gonna be index.html like that and also we're gonna create a second one and it's gonna be the webgl so we're gonna go here I'm gonna create a second one and it's gonna be webgl hyphen demo.js so we have that and now what we are gonna do is the index.html file should contain the following so we're gonna okay so we're gonna go into the file okay so i'm just gonna press shift exclamation mark so i have a a template here so uh yeah maybe that like that is fine so let me see we have um, okay so we have the html file and the head we have the meta chart set the title is just gonna be uh, let me see the title is just gonna be webgl demo so let's change it so it's gonna be webgl and it's gonna be a demo like that we can save it and we can just right click here right click and just open it with live server or you can just press all plus l all plus o and it's gonna send us to it's gonna send it to this link so there's nothing obviously yet but let's keep moving so let's okay so we're gonna go here now and we're gonna have the source so we're gonna below this below the title we are gonna have and um, we need the script like that and as you remember when we use the script we're gonna use the source and the source equal sign and inside we're gonna have in the it's gonna be web oh, we don't have it let me see web a script is it has to be okay web webgl and it's gonna be hmm. let me see let me move this and it has to be source like that okay now it's gonna be okay so yeah i i type it wrong so now we have connected the the javascript into the html and if you if you don't remember how to do that so you can just check out this link then the mozilla developer so we have the script then we have the source and inside of the double quotes we will have the the file the file name and what else we need here so we have that what else this is inside of the head so we have the meta chart the title the script the head now in the body so we are gonna go into the body inside of the body here we're gonna type in it's gonna be it's gonna be canvas so we're gonna just type in canvas like that and we're gonna have an id the width and a height so 
we're gonna have in an ID like that and the ID is gonna be GL canvas like that GL canvas we're gonna have a width of 640 okay so it's gonna be a, a width of 640 and what else we also we're gonna have a height of 480 so we're gonna have a height of 480 okay and we have the canvas here okay that's fine okay so this is we're working up to this point just in the HTML file okay so know that this declare a canvas that our sample will draw into so as you can see it's an empty since we haven't created nothing in the JavaScript file yet preparing the WebGL content add the following code to the WebGL uh, dash demo.js file so we're gonna have a main let's go here and we're gonna have a main oh oops it has to be just main open close parentheses let me see we're gonna have a main and then just we're gonna end it with a semicolon uh, let me see okay we ended up with a semicolon and okay so we have main semicolon uh, okay so now we're gonna start here with the function and the function is gonna be named so we're gonna go here so it's gonna be a function name main we're gonna open close parentheses and now we're gonna open curly braces so inside of the curly braces we're gonna have this function called uh, canvas so we're gonna have cons and then it's gonna be uh, canvas like that and we are gonna set it so equal sign we're gonna set it to the document that document that query query selector and we're gonna open parentheses and we're gonna end up this with a semicolon but inside of the parentheses we're gonna pass in double quotes and we're gonna have in the number sign and then gl canvas so gl canvas like that so we have that up to this point let me see we have the function main we have the class canvas document that query selector canvas now we need to initialize the gl context so okay you can type in the comments if you want but let's just keep moving so we are gonna have in cons gl like that cons gl and we are gonna set it to to canvas okay and now we are gonna have in get context so it's gonna be that get uh, let me see get context canvas okay get context okay inside of the parentheses what we are gonna have is the webgl so it's gonna be like that webgl okay so we have that but this webgl has to be inside of double quotes so we're gonna save it up to this point let me see okay so now what else do we need to do so we ended up with well here is not necessary to end up with semicolon like in mysql but let's just do it now we're gonna have only continue if webgl is available and working so as you see here we have this function name main we are initializing canvas to the we are setting it to the document that query selector we are initializing gl to the canvas that get context and we're passing the webgl now only continue if webgl is available and working so we we'll have this if statement okay so we're gonna go below here and we're gonna type in if so if okay if gl okay if gl is equal to so we have triple equal sign is equal to null okay so if each if gl is equal to null then we're gonna be doing something okay so we're gonna open curly braces and we're gonna have an alert so if gl is equal to null we're gonna have an, an alert open parentheses and inside of the parentheses we are gonna have in the unable to initialize it so let's copy this piece so it's gonna be 
unable to initialize WebGL, your browser or machine may not support it. So we have that message and we're gonna end up this alert with a semicolon okay let's do that finally we're gonna return so we're gonna return and we're gonna end it with a semicolon okay so we have the curly braces here okay so now we're gonna set the the color okay so we have this curly braces and we're gonna go below and okay so this curly brace here is the if statement so we're gonna go below and now we're gonna have okay set clear color to black to black uh, fully opaque so we're gonna have gl that and it's gonna be clear it's gonna be clear color like that and we're gonna pass in some values so we're gonna pass in just zero so we're gonna have uh, zero zero okay so zero that zero zero point zero we're gonna have zero point zero zero point zero and finally zero point one so and again we are separated by a comma we're gonna put a semicolon at the end and now we have the GL now clear the color buffer with specified clear color so we're gonna have the, the GL and it's gonna be that clear and now we're gonna open parentheses and we are gonna have in GL and it's gonna be that and it's gonna be color color underscore buffer and it's gonna be underscore bit like this oops bit okay so we ended up this with a semicolon and the curly braces is here and this curly braces is of the is the curly braces of the main function so we have that we can save it and if we go into our into our uh, web well it's not showing but let's keep moving okay so what else what is happening here let me see we can save that and we're gonna have in this script script source okay so let me see if I if I type it right, so it's gonna be a source JavaScript. Okay, that's fine. And let me see why it's not working. So web gl hyphen demo js. Let me see. Okay, so we have the gl canvas. Okay, so yeah, everything is fine here. So main uh, star here function main support it so let me see color zero oh one point zero okay so it has to be like that one point zero we can save it now and let's uh, let me see let's open it okay so we're gonna go into the html and just open with live server and let me see it's not working yet okay so we have that the script okay script source scripts let's just take it out and move it here inside and below the body let's save it and now it's working so i okay so i was following this code here but i pretty much put the script uh, element inside of the head and well uh, it appears for for this example is working for them but obviously it was not working for me so what i did is i just take it out and i put it inside of the body so now it's working so i have the script and the sources it goes to the javascript uh, file so now if i go into this page so as you can see it's pretty much a uh, change in the color so since we have zero zero then zero and then finally we have one point zero so we the main function is called when our script is loaded its purpose is to set up the webgl context and start rendering content the first thing that we do here is obtain a reference to the canvas assigning it to a variable named canvas so we are we're okay so we're going into the javascript file so we are assigning it to this canvas okay so 
once we have the canvas we try to get a web gl render in context for the for it by calling get context so this is the one here get context okay and passing it passing it the stream webgl so here we are passing the stream webgl okay if the browser does not support webgl get context will return null so in which case we display a message to the user in exit so this is in case that I'm using uh, Chrome, but if there is another engine or I mean another browser and there is an error, it will return unable to initialize WebGL, your browser or machine may not support it. So we have that. And this is the, the example that we have. So for now, we only have a, a black background, but we are going to start pouring more code. Okay. so. If the context has successfully initialized the variable GL is our reference to it. In this case, we set the clear color to black and clear the context to that color, redrawing the canvas with the background color. At this point, you have enough code that the WebGL context should successfully initialize, and you should wind up with uh, with a big black uh, empty box ready and waiting to receive content. So we have that up to this point. Okay, so. And you can also check out view this complete code.